Hey guys, so today I'm actually gonna be getting ready because I have two of my favorite people from the internet coming over today. And they are Marie, who was formerly Bits and Clips but is now Marie That's Me, and Kat, who is Mama Cat TV. I couldn't ask for two people that were more similar to me, I think. And so they're coming over today. The makeup that I've been doing the last few days, I've been posting on my Instagram story, and so many of you guys are DMing and being like, it's so simple, what is it? And I'm gonna show you guys, it's very, very basic. I talked about a lot of this stuff in my last video, which I will link here. That was my favorites video. And I'm actually gonna show you guys how I use the steamrollers in my hair today, because I talked about the Caruso steamrollers in that video. I've been using these for over 10 years on my hair. And so many of you were like, can you just show me how though? Like, can I just see you doing it? And I'm like, yeah, bitch, I'll do it. So I'm gonna put my hair up in the steamrollers. I'm gonna show you the process of actually using them. I'm gonna do my full face of makeup and talk to you guys through the process. Before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe if you have not yet. I upload new videos as often as I can, but generally I try for every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You guys can also follow me on both my other social sites, Twitter and Instagram. Both are Raw Beauty Christie, and let's jump into it. So this is the Caruso Steamroller base. It's really old. You can tell I've had this for such a long time. Basically in here, I'll pull this out so you guys can see, but this little pop top pops off. You put water up to the fill line and then you stick this guy in and then you just plug it in and steam starts to shoot up through here. It probably only takes like 30 seconds once you plug it in to start actually steaming and then you can just go to town on your hair. I find for me, this is probably one of the faster ways that I curl my hair. It seems almost like it would take longer, but it really doesn't. So I just kind of separate off my hair into two sections. I have very fine, thin hair. So I kind of take larger sections because it doesn't really matter. But if you have really thick hair, you'll need more rollers and you'll probably need to section your hair off a few times, but. All right, and then this is the roller here. So you just unclip it. And as you guys can see, I don't know if you can see, but it is shooting steam up right now. And then you just, it's got like a little hole on the bottom. You set it on there let it steam for, I'd say like 15 seconds. I wouldn't call my hair fried necessarily. I feel like my hair guy did a wonderful job of not frying my hair, but it is dry. And if, especially when I curl it, it's, it's just so dry. By the way, I grab one in my hand and when I pull the other off, I put the other on. And when I'm steamrolling my hair, my curls come out shiny and bouncy. Whereas when I use a wand on my hair, my curls come out pretty, but they're more like mermaidy beachy, which I like sometimes more in the summer. So I take a big chunk of hair. Again, you can take a smaller chunk if you have way thicker hair than me. I take about that much, which it looks like a lot, but if you really boil it down to how much hair it is, it's like nothing. And when I pull the steamroller off, so they come in different sizes. I like the big size, like the biggest one that it comes with. For me, I feel like the other ones can give you a really tight curl. They're pretty bad. So I pull it off and then I start it at the base underneath and then I wrap my hair around it and then curl it up. Stick your curly thing on, done. I find that when I use these curlers on my hair, really don't have to do much to the curls when it is done. So I just take it base under wrap, set. Kind of leave this little front middle section, like you can kind of see how I sectioned it off. Leave that for the very end. I don't have a hair tie, which is why I'm using a makeup brush. I just find too that when I use these on my hair, my hair doesn't get nearly as damaged because yes, it's hot, but because it's like steam heat, it's different. I don't know, my hair just reacts to it differently. I don't find that I have nearly as much dryness or damage. I just find that my hair kind of seems to prefer the steam. Whether or not it's better for my hair or not is, the question, I don't know. And I just let this sit in my hair 20, 30 minutes while I'm doing my makeup. Take it out and you're curly. If you guys wanna see how that looks, just stay till the end of the video and you guys will see like the finished result. I'm really glad to see that a lot of you guys really liked the way that I did my last favorites video where I showed you guys me applying the favorites. If you guys like those, I'll keep doing them in the future. This is the Dermacol foundation and I am in the shade 207 right here. It seems like a lot of foundation maybe, but that's just like t a tiny little amount because it has a lot of pigment in it. And then I'm using the L'Oreal Pro Glow in the shade 203. Just taking a little bit here, here. A lot of people from my last favorites video were like, uh, your skin looks pretty, but it looks greasy. Yeah, 
That's how I like it. I like to look greasy. I know that some people don't, and if you don't like that look, totally understand. But I like to look really dewy just because my skin is so dry naturally that I like to just have that healthy glow. And I can tell you, I did this makeup on my sister last night. I did this foundation base on her. She came over and I was like, let me just try this on you real quick. When she was up here in front of the lights, like I am right now, she was like, I don't know, man, I look real glowy. And I'm like, just wait, just wait till you're in regular lighting. She walked downstairs and was putting her makeup on, the remainder of her makeup on downstairs, not in front of my studio lights right here. And she was like, holy shit, dude, my skin looks so good. It looked so healthy. I don't know, this mixture is just such a good mixture. For me, Pro Glow is pretty and I love it, but the coverage of it is perfect, but I have to use a lot of it to get that coverage, which is why I like to mix it in with Dermacol because I can get the coverage with way less product. And that's what I prefer. This is the It Cosmetics Love is the Foundation Brush. Apparently this is back on Ulta, so if you didn't get it from my last video, I will link this down below. I guess this is a type of brush that they launch every year like three times. It's like a limited edition product, but they keep bringing it back and then they take it away and then they bring it back and take it away and each time it looks different from what I understand. So I will link this in the description if it is still available. I think a really good marker for me is when my husband notices my skin and yesterday he was like, your skin looks gorgeous. I'm like, Okay, first of all, how precious of you. Second of all, thank you. Third of all, I know. <laughs> For Zach to even notice, you know, that means there's a difference. By the way, this is the ColourPop concealer and I mix it with a little bit of the Kylie concealer in the shade Bone and I just love the combo. I feel like I've been, I was told a whole bunch of times that ColourPop and Kylie concealer are the same, just repackaged. I did a side-by-side -side wear test, so I have the ColourPop versus Kylie on one side, and I can tell you I do believe they are a different formula. Kylie stays a lot more dewy, ColourPop dries down a lot more, but they are both a beautiful concealer. So if you guys wanna see a side-by-side -side comparison, I will link the video that I did up there. But yeah, my friends are coming over today. We're just gonna hang out. We all talk all the time on Marco Polo. I talked about Marco Polo a whole bunch of times, but I'm gonna put on the um, Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Powder with my Wet n Wild P53 brush. We talk all the time on Marco Polo, like we have a little group on there. If you guys don't know what Marco Polo is, I've explained it in the past, but I love the app so much and I feel like it doesn't get enough love. It's basically an app that, say you have two best friends and you really just wanna talk to them in a group. You all add each other to a Marco Polo group and you go on there, you press start, starts recording for them. If they happen to be available at that moment and they see that you're recording a Marco Polo, then they can hop on and watch you live. Or if you're not available right then to watch somebody that left you a polo, you can watch it later. It shows up as like a little tile on the bottom. It's basically like Instagram stories, but and it's only available to those people. So say you have a group with Sally and Sue and you, only those two can watch your Marco Polos and whoever you add to the group can watch it. They're watchable forever until you delete the group. It's just such a cool app. I feel like it's so underrated and not enough people talk about it. I don't know, it's a good way to connect with your friends without FaceTiming with them. While I love FaceTime so much, the one thing I feel about FaceTime is that at times, like sometimes I wanna say something to you via video, but I don't wanna FaceTime you because it's not something we need to have a full conversation about. That's Marco Polo, cause so that's kinda like Snapchat in a way, you know? For some reason I'm trying to sell you on this app that I have in no way affiliated with and I don't know, I just feel like it's something that a lot of people would get a lot of use out of but don't even know about. So what I did yesterday with my eyes, and I love the way that it looked, was I took a little bit of whatever bronzer I was using. I just had switched over a little bit to MAC Give Me Sun. Knock off a bunch of it and just run it on that same brush through my eyes, just so that I'm adding a little bit of color. You don't have to get your eyeshadow brush out because it's not really the point. I'm not trying to like define my eyes, just add a little bit of color to them. And then I was taking this, this is the Pure Cosmetics Eye Polish. And this is so beautiful. This is the shade Visionary. It comes with like this little silicone paddle. And as you can see, when you, when you put it on, it's very metallic. Like you can get a foiled finish out of it. But if you take your finger and you pat it out, This is how I've been doing it on my eyes and it looks absolutely stunning and it does not take very much at all. It becomes like a liquid glitter. See that? Look how beautiful that is. Oh, I just love it so much. So I take a little bit of this on my eyelid, kind of run it at the base like that. And then just take your finger.
pat it out all over the lid and then it gives you that effect. It's so beautiful. I feel like these are so underrated. Not very many people talk about them, but they're like the most beautiful finish. I think that they need to come out with even more shades of these. And then they came out with these a lot in holiday last year. So, and look, look just look on the eyes. How beautiful that looks. I'm just gonna do my brows real quick. This is the MAC Shape and Shade. I talked about this in my favorites as well. I've been running into so many subscribers lately out and about, and I tell you what, not a single time have I been wearing makeup. Because you know, some, a lot of times they're like, can we get a picture? And I, and I look like a bag of shit. A bag of dicks, if you will. Literally rolled out of bed, greasy, like hair in a top knot, wearing like a big old baggy sweatshirt, and it's like, Chrissy, dude. Like, if you're a YouTube makeup artist, then you literally don't even wear makeup in public. My husband's vacuuming downstairs. Sorry. I'm just gonna toss a little boy brow in. Sorry about the vacuum noise in the background. My husband's vacuuming downstairs and I'm not gonna tell him to stop because let's be real, who tells their husband to stop vacuuming? I am going to toss on a pair of lashes and these are the lashes that I've been wearing recently on days where I'm not necessarily on YouTube, but that I just wanna look really well put together, but not be wearing like thick, big ass lashes with not a lot of makeup. Because if I put on a pair of big giant lashes right now, it might be overkill. So what I've been doing is wearing the Ardell Demi Wispies. These are a drugstore lash and they're really inexpensive. As I've been wearing these, so many people on my Instagram stories have been asking me like, what are those lashes? Cause they look so natural. They're super easy to put on. I have a tutorial I'll put right here of how to apply lashes if you're a beginner and you don't know how. There's a lot of steps that maybe you wouldn't think about, but basically I like these because they're super thin band, like they are just a, the thinnest of band and they pop right on. They look like your own natural lashes, just really enhanced and they add a lot without feeling like anything. So I'm gonna pop those on real quick. So this is the blush palette that I used yesterday that I really, really enjoyed. This is the Stilazzi Bahamas palette. I use the color Flamingo right here and then I mix it with a little bit of Tropic. And as you can see, just those gentle dips in, it really adds a lot of pigment. So then I sort of tap it off on the back of my hand. I accidentally tapped it on the glitter. So now I have glitter cheeks. I don't generally do a lot of blush, but I wanted to yesterday and I really liked the way that it looked. It's a lot, like I kind of over applied it, but if you do what I just did, you can kind of take your foundation brush and just gently tap back over it. And then for my lips yesterday, I know I have a little bit of gloss on, I forgot about this step. This is the NYX Slip Tease Lip Lacquer and this is in the shade First Date. These are like super pigmented and I kind of like, I really like this color. I think it's really pretty and I kind of take my finger and just rub it around so it's not super thick. I took a little bit of a lip pencil and just kind of ran it on the inside yesterday to make sure to get rid of that like buttholiness. And that itself has some gloss, but then I want to take a little bit more gloss. This is the MAC Dazzle Glass and this is in the shade Like Venus. All right, and the only step I have left is actually to apply highlighter. And of course I'm going to apply my ABH and Omrezy highlighter. And then a little bit of setting spray, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Setting Spray. I talked about this in my favorites video as well. This is probably my favorite of everything because it makes such a big difference. So you can see I'm super dewy right now, but this just amps it up to another level. See that? Oh! So beautiful. All right, and that is the makeup, and now I'm gonna show you what the hair looks like. So I just unwind it. So I like to just sort of unwind it down. And I don't know, just like you can see, see how bouncy the curls are? They stay like that all day long, and I just feel like you can see that like they're shinier. It makes my hair shinier. And you can either take a brush and run it through your hair, or you can just kind of run your fingers through your hair and separate the curls out. It starts to relax over the you know day that you have it in, but some people's hair lasts like a few days in these curls. Mine is a day. I wash my hair every day though because 
I don't like the feeling of greasy hair. I get really oily hair and so I wash my hair every day. That's how you use the Crusoe Steamrollers. This is the makeup that I've been doing every day. I'm literally obsessed with it. It's my best skin I've ever had, I'll tell you that much. I don't know if I'm gonna switch it up for a while. I just feel like until this foundation isn't working for me anymore, I'm gonna be continuing this because why switch up something that works so well? I will have everything that I used in this video listed in the description. So if you guys are wanting to check anything out, it will all be down there. And I. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye! I have some really amazing friends on YouTube that I rarely talk about for some reason. Reason? For some reason, I never talk about the. And I used the color, flam come on you bitch. Like Venus? In the shade like penis? <laughs> yeah. What is it? Like Venus? Light penis. Mac is getting classy with their names. Creative. What are you what are you sighing about, Sai? Well, I took a shower, but now I'm all sweaty from cleaning the whole house. Well, I'm sorry. Uh oh, there's something in my eye. And now my friends are coming over and I'm excited to see them. I love them with my whole heart. They're my friends. They are good.